So we're going to try to inspect some elements so that we can click on those elements, we can interrogate with those elements. So that's what we're going to do right now. I will start with the conventional, the traditional way. So by next week, we use the page object to actually get that object out. So now, just follow with me so on, on this, actually. Okay, so let's assume I've got, there's a, yeah, I normally use this particular URL. Don't, that's not that one. The, this is a form I, I created, and I like this form because it's got most of the controls that you have on the website, and then you, we can try to use this control, to, to, and we can automate it. As you can see, the control has got text boxes, and then also it's got radio buttons, it's got check boxes, and it's got even drop down and yeah, so and also yeah, so that's why uh, we've created this. And um, one thing that is missing, I'll put that is upload upload images. So we need to put that into this one. So that if we're able to automate this particular page, I think you should be comfortable able to automate any any page basically because most of the control that you have or element that you have on any page is is here. Yeah. But there will be other ones that are not yet, but maybe we'll touch based on those one in the advanced session. So the first thing that we want to look into is, let's say we have the first name. So the first name, you can right click and inspect the element. So as you can see, the element is called ID, and the ID is NLV26, and it's got name, and it's got class. So we can decide to use which one. So let's go back to our code. So in our code right now, we want to, let's say we're going to change this to that particular URL right now. So we navigate to the link. So when we now get to this link, what do we need to do? We need to now enter our name, our first name. So enter your first name, you will say, you will call driver. Normally I used to tell people, okay, this is Mr. Driver. You will ask you, what do you want to do? I want to find an element, okay? Which element do you want to find? How do you want to find it? I want to find it by, by what? As you can see, these are different ways to, you can find elements, you can find it by the class name, you can find it by CSS selector, you can find it by the ID, you can find it by the link text, you can find it by name, partial link text, tag name, SPath. So if you go for interview, some of those things is what they will ask you at the interview. That would, are on different methods that you can use to find an element in your DOM. So it's basically all this one. So we're going to look into them one after the other and see how we can use them. The first one that we're going to use is ID. ID are very should be unique on, on the site. So and that's where sometimes it's favorable to use an ID. So but on, if you ask me nowadays I use CS, CS, CSS selector often because with CSS selector you can also use most of these things you can use an ID inside your CSS selector. We're going to look into that, how to construct your CSS selector, or if you want to construct your S path, I think it's also there. So you can use your S path. So how do you do that? Then? What is the disadvantage or an advantage of each one of them? So like I said, ID will be unique. It will be faster for you to, um, to locate. And more often it's also Oh, very, very reliable. So uh, let's start with ID because the site that we want to use 
right now this one has got ID so we copy that ID which is for that particular button this no sorry text box first name so we go to our code and we said we want to find it dot ID so what are we looking for this is Mr. Driver Mr. Driver said okay Mr. Driver can you please find an ele element for me okay cool how do you want to find the element I want to find the element by ID okay which ID do you want to find then you need to paste the ID that you already found so this one will find the element for you like this so now after you find the element what do you want to do so you are still talking to Mr. Driver I have, Mr. Driver is telling you I have found the element what do you want me to do so then you can say oh okay I want to type into, into that element because that's what we want to type we want to type our first name so you will say dot send keys so then it's okay you want to type something what exactly do you want to type so what you want to type goes into into the middle and you can say name my name is JG and then yeah so that will type something into that text box for you so that's what it's going to do so then so this is the process so for the second one if you want to do the second one also like the last name you just need to inspect it also inspect it also and that is this particular um, element and you can see it's got ID also but this time around we are not going to use ID let's try to use the name and the name is L name so and we go in there we talk to our driver again driver dot find element we said how do you want to find the element but now we said okay we want to find it by name so what is this name that you are finding L name is it then what do you want to do to read so I want to type so for you to type you say send key you want to send some keys what are the keys that you want to t uh, type uh, my surname so those are the things that you want to do so then you move to the next one right you move to the next one which is same thing applies to this I'm not going to cover this because this is also like saying keys saying keys when you inspect the element then let's go to the radio button so for the radio button you want to click on a radio button so I will inspect that radio button so if I click on it you can see it's alighted and it's selected that radio button for me so what I need to look into that I need to see what are the properties of that radio button it's got a type it's got ID it's got name it's got class it's got area as you can see from the drop down I showed to you there's no area label by so we cannot use that but we can use that in CSS but we talked about this one later but let's look at class okay let's select this it is not I wouldn't I would say it is not advisable for you to be using class because class more often are not uh, unique in your DOM so but I'm only going to use it as an example so that to, for you to know how you can use class so now this is my class so I will copy the class I'll copy the class name so so my class name is the one I've just copied so now I will do the same thing call my driver so and say find element for me or by what now I, I will say okay I find it by class name so what is the name of the class if I say okay don't worry so by the name of the class then what's the name of the class that I'm finding out that is the name of the of the class then after that I have found an element for so then what do I need to do to the element I need to send keys so all done okay because like we said that's an, uh, an error actually so like we said 
this particular element you cannot send the key so you cannot type inside a radio button obviously so what do you need to do you need to click that particular radio button so you would instead of saying send keys you would you will say dot click so that will click that radio button for you then if you if you go lower so the same thing we have this so you can also click on this one so let's right click uh, oh before I forget actually you can see I did not inspect the label the label is of no essence to me actually so I so yes, you can see the, the label is, is I, don't, I don't use the label I only use the input feeds so you need to be you need to know that then you are going to be clicking on the on the radio button so that's what you need to do so and you can do the same or these other ones later if you want to so then the same way also for this checkbox also you would just need to inspect it so as you can see it's highlighted so and it's got ID2 and it's got name and it's got other things so now we're going to use CSS for this particular one to, co to use the CSS you can right click and then copy and say copy selector so that will copy your CSS, CSS for you so I will do that and go to my code that is my single checkbox so I want to also call my driver again I say my driver I'm going somewhere I'm finding an element so which elements am I finding and how am I finding it I'm finding it by CSS selector right now CSS selector and it's going to ask me how oh, what is the CSS so I as you know I have copied one so I'm going to paste it inside the code so that is the CSS selector as you can see that was I like CSS selector to be honest you can see this is now using an ID the name of the ID basically but it's only putting the dollar sign at the for at the front so just to make it a CSS selector so and that's the CSS selector for that particular element so since the element also is a button is a checkbox rather I would need to click on to read so I, I can say click so this also will click the element and so the next one the next one is the is the same thing so it's the same thing but this one now we need to look into uh, the drop down how do we implement a drop down in selenium is totally different from the other part so you need to know what you need to do there are two ways to that you need there are two things that you need to do the first thing is selecting the element and then after that deciding on which one that you want to click so what you need to do is for CS for drop down I said there are two things that you need to do if you want to use a drop down the first thing that you need to do is to select is select that however for you have to also use what's it called selenium support actually for you to be able to do that so let's go through this right now So let's inspect the element first. So this one, if you inspect this element, so as you can see, this is the element. So this is got two, this is got that, uh, so.
Okay, so let's go. So the first thing is you want to select the element. One minute, I just need to address this. Okay, all right, so one thing that you need to do, it is a bit, you need to understand this actually. So the first thing is for us to first decide to get that particular element out. So let's say this is our find element, driver dot find. So driver, what are you finding? We are finding this element out. So we are finding this particular one. And let's say we are finding it by by the name, by the ID rather. By dot ID. So what's the ID, Mr. Driver? So that's the ID. And then that is we we already found that item, that particular uh, element. So, but this is not, this is just the first step actually. Then what you need to do, you need to save this particular element that you found into a variable. So let's say, it, because we know it's a web element, and what, what do we call the name of that web element? Let's say multi-selector, multi. Okay, and that is is that element that we found. So that's the first step right now. We found this we found this element and we store it into multi. So the next thing that you need to do now is to because this is only going to find this element for you, this element. But you need to select the right one. So you know there are more than one in that element because from here you could see there are different options. There are different options attributed to that particular element. But when we are finding, we are finding the, re, um, the parent element. That's what we are finding. And now we need to now select the right option. So to do that, you would then and your select statement will be select. So we want to select. So, and then we want to select a drop down. Let's say it's a drop down. Drop down. One. So, is equal to new select. So, as you can see, this is complaining. So, I can quickly resolve that or enter. So, no. Or enter so it's, I can add dependencies for that one. Select. So if I press Alt Enter again, I can now import. So that's fine. So now is new select. So then what are you selecting? So you're going to be selecting the multi, right? So we're going to be selecting, we are selecting from the multi. So this is your fourth, your first stage gone. Said he could not select.
No, okay. No, I don't think. Okay, let's do this. No. Okay, I think that is now working. Where is that? Let me look into that one minute. So the first issue that I found was I think a wrong I selected the wrong uh, library actually. So this is the library that select is in is in support UI. So Selenium so support that's where select is. So then after you've added that, so you would put your web driver, your web element, the name of that element of course and the find element. Then the next one is to call the select and you can also part, uh, give it a name, the element that you want to select. Then after that you would, you can do, I think, let me just make it tidy. So you can just put multi here. So yeah, that the element that we declared there, we now put it into the select. So we said the first the first space we are actually finding the element, and now we are selecting that particular element. Now after selecting the element, we know in that element there are other options so that we can get out from them. So these options. Now you can now decide which option you want to sell you want to select. So let's say we are selecting the option one, right? So the value is equal to one. So what we need to do is now saying drop one dot then we can also select by value. And what is that value that we are finding is one. So you need to we also need to be sure that we write the correct one because it is case sensitive. You can see it's lower case. So that is how to enter it. I will just do a recap of that. The first thing you need to do is, oh uh, yeah. So if I comment this one out and I start all over again, just to quickly explain. So the first one is what we did was, So I'm going to remove this one also quickly. So now what we did was our driver dot find element. We are finding this element and we know is by ID, right? So and I will just copy the So that is the ID that we want to do. So then, so after you found it, so we can assign our web element to it. Let's say it is multi-select now. Is equal to that. So after we've done that. The next point now is for us to call our select. So as you can see, it's finding this is bringing the um, that for me. And the issue that I had before, as you can see, if I just hold on, let me write it completely first. And um, is I want to click on the drop one. Let me call it drop down one. So drop down one is what I want to complete. So then I would say new also select. Then I would pass the. Set. 
to because it's the module select that I want to pass. Now I need to resolve this, but I need to be careful because right now it's giving me com dot son dot yeah. So I need to right click and so I think I don't need the dot com. So Alt enter. Yeah. So alt enter will give me options. So but this is what I need actually. So not the one at the top. I need the selenium one. So that's what I need. So initially I just blindly selected the uh, com the sun. So uh, you you need to be yeah, you need to click on the open keyway selenium one. So then that is that done. So the next thing is for you now to select that particular element. So you can now say drop down one dot. So you can have different options. So you can select by index, you can select by value, you can select by visible text. So for instance, if I want to select by the text itself, so I can select that, I can say the text is one, which is different from the value. So that will select by text. So I think that is that for today. So if you have any questions, so we quickly, I'll just go through what we've done quickly. So um, for this evening, basically, after we had the issue with the driver, so which I'm going to resolve next week. So we look into different methods that you can select our elements. So we look into ID, we look into name, we look into class name, we look into CSS selector, and then we look into the big one, which is how do we select an element, select a, a drop down. So, so select a drop down, we have these three steps all together. So, and even before you go, I can map, I can merge all, if you, if you allow me to do that. So, but it's so, you know, sometimes it's good to spread it out. So the first thing is this particular method. So then after that, it's this one. Is this new method? So I'm going to comment this one out. I'm going to comment this one out. So now I'm going to say new method new. So and I'm going to be passing my element into it. It's still the same thing. So, and now what do I need to do? So that becomes this one. So the next thing is for me to do this. So now if I say dot, I should see this select. So I can say, okay, select by index one. So I have been able to merge this particular three lines into one line. So this is what I've done now. But it's sometimes it's easy for you to see that okay this is being passed into this one and this is passed into this. So if you want to write it in one liner, this is what you would write. So what I'm looking for is a select and then also in that select I am finding an item and I'm finding by ID. Then when this ID the element is found, then select uh, in the drop down any element that you found by ID, by index of one. Or you could say, I want to select those elements, or you can say select all elements, or the select also, it's also available. But let's say you want to also say select by value. You can say, oh, I want to select by value. And what's the value? One. So bring me any uh, drop down with value of one in this particular element. That's what you've just been able to write. All right, so thanks everyone for, for the time. Any question? Okay, one minute.